I just want to share something with you that happened to me this afternoon. I just want to let you know that we have a big God and a faithful God. And he continues to minister to us here at Minis at liberty in many ways. This term has been a difficult term for us in a number of ways. But we've been holding on to God and he has been faithful to us, even in the little things. And today was an example. I left home at 12.30 today to come down to get the little room at the back organized to receive the children. I have games, I have Nintendo, I have TV, all kinds of things packed up in my car to come and set up so that when they came, they would come into a prepared area. I needed a pair of dice for a Ludo game. And Aunt Yvonne and I went to school. We picked up some chairs and I said, I'll meet you down at the theater. I'm going to get a pair of dice. I stopped at four places to get the dice. And I succeeded at the fourth place. When I went to the fourth place, which was Silver Slipper Plaza, just the road, the road here, the car park was jam-packed full. So I drove around and I decided to take a chance and park on the side of the road. As I am getting out of the car, and I'm convinced it's the Holy Spirit. I heard myself say, Lord, cover my car from any impounding. <laughs> I got out of the car, walked straight across the road, found a pair of dice, which cost me $140, and came back within the space of three minutes, only to see my car being taken up by the record. <laughs> so I went to the record driver and I said, please sir, I'm on my way to a function. There are 200 and odd children going to be waiting on these things. Could you just have a little mercy on me? He said, lady, I'm sorry. The wheels are on the record already. You, you have, we have to go to the pub. So I stood up there in shock. And I said, God, what do I do now? The people in the area came around and started to plead with the man, plead my case with the man. He would have none of it. One of them even said, let the lady pay your money and give her back her car. He said, no, 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 we've been having so much corruption. I'm not allowed to do that. She'll have to follow us to the pond. I'm thinking, how am I going to follow you to the pond if I don't have a car? Anyway, within seconds, a police car drove up. And the police then said, lady, are you okay? I said, no, uh, the record has just impounded my car and I have this function at four o'clock and um, I don't know what to do at this point in time. She, she said, jump in. So I jumped in and he drove up to the record and he said, pull over. So he pulled over and he said, listen, you can't help this lady out. No, sir cannot help her out. She has to come to the pond with us. So they said, okay, well, you follow us. And I went down to the, the pond in a police car with the siren on. We got down there in about seven minutes. Right? So I get to the pond now and I hear that it's $4,000 to clear my car. Now, you, when you go, by the way, for your information, when you go to the pond, there's one place where they write you up, and then you have to walk down two blocks to pay the bill, and walk the two block, blocks back up to receive the car. So I'm standing up now. There are two ladies sitting, and one is very busy. So I walk to the other lady. She gets my license and all my papers and writes up my paper. I said, how much is it going to cost? She says $4,000. I said, I only have $3,900 in my bag because I just used $100 to buy the two bags which got me into this trouble. 
So she looks at me. I said, is there anything you can do to help me? Because I don't, I don't know what to do right now. She says, okay, just a minute, I'll be right back. She goes out of the room around the corner and she comes back. She says, when you go in, take this note, just give this note to the cashier. On the note was to a Mr. Somebody. Please collect $3,900 from this lady as she has to get the car to attend a function. When I went down to KSAC, walked my two blocks, paid $3,900, and I came back up to the pond and I got the car. Now, that process I understand can take hours. It took me one hour. I was back here at 3 o'clock. And I just give God thanks. He's a faithful God. I made my mistake. I should have listened to the, the, the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And I got my rap on the knuckles. But in spite of that, he was faithful because he knew the children were here waiting. And I just give God thanks. And I just want, I say that you to encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, to always remember we serve a big God. And no matter how hard times look, with God, all things are possible and we can he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can think or imagine so i do hope that you will enjoy as our little ones pour out their hearts to this evening and that you will be ministered to have a wonderful evening thank you God, a wonderful God. Yes. Isn't He a wonderful God? Yes. Let's give a shout. Jesus! Let's call His name. Jesus! Jesus. Alright? I'm here to pray. Can you stand, please? 